Hey gents, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel where we cover the science of style and grooming. If you guys haven't joined over 14,000 other men in our Mannered Mains Facebook group where we support each other on our hair and beard growth journey, what are you waiting for? Come on over. So today we're gonna to be covering why I use a wooden hairbrush and the benefits for you to use one too. We're also gonna talk about how to use it correctly, how to choose the right one for you, and I'll also be sharing my favorite wooden brush brand who was awesome enough to sponsor this video. Let's get into it. So let's start with part one, the benefits of a wooden brush and why I use one. So I bought a wooden brush from Tech on Amazon about a year ago, it was December 12th, 2020. And ever since then, I have not used any other types of brushes. And I'm talking about detangling and brushing. I'm not talking about for styling purposes. I am a huge fan of wooden brushes. So over the last year, I've been contacting tech, trying to get in touch with them, letting them know that I purchased their product, I loved it. I would love to have them on the channel, see if they'd be a sponsor. And after many back and forth, we hit it off. And it's been a great relationship that I hope flourishes forever. Knock on wood. So I'm proud to say that Tech has sponsored this video. But anyways, let's get back to the benefits of wooden brushes. Now with Tech in particular, they're handmade in Italy with very strict standards for production. So all their wood is FSC certified. That means they have been certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. So that basically means that the wood used on all of the hairbrushes can be tracked all the way back to the origin tree pretty much, ensuring that responsible forestation methods were used to create this product and that none of their brushes were made through wild deforestation. Bring it down. So the handles are made from ash wood and their pins are made from hornbeam wood. Now the cool thing about hornbeam is its porosity and flexibility. It's like a fine to medium porosity type of wood. It does a great job of absorbing that excess sebum that can build up on different parts of your scalp and evenly spread it across. Whereas with plastic or nylon bristles, they're not as porous and they can't absorb and spread oils as easily across your hair. Another benefit is you will have much less breakage with wooden brushes because we know that force and friction from brushing are the main cause of hair breakage. So anything you can do to reduce that is going to be amazing for your hair. So the wooden pins are much more flexible than the nylon or plastic pins, allowing much more give as you brush through your hair. So this helps with avoiding breakage when you're detangling. Additionally, if you have a brush with plastic or nylon bristles, those are usually produced from like printing machines, which can lead to imperfections in the brush, which can lead to imperfections when brushing your hair. The wooden pins are all handmade and they have smooth finishes and they're all equal in size and shape, allowing for smooth gliding through your hair and evenly laid cuticles. So wood is also anti-static by nature, so by simply using the brush, you're helping to reduce frizz and you know, combat anything that would cause frizz, whether that be the weather or um, you know, your cuticles are rubbing against each other in different ways. So the main benefits you get are smooth and flexible pin that reduces friction and force, which reduces breakage, a porous pin that absorbs and evenly distributes excess sebum buildup, allowing you to extend days between washes, and an anti-static brush that fights frizz by nature. So when you combine all of that with the standard of production that Tech has in their product, you can see why I love this brush, why I love this company, why I'm happy to bring them on the channel. Let's move on to the next part of this video, which is how to use the brush correctly. Because when it comes to hair health, the build and construction of the brush is just as important as brushing technique. So here's how to brush correctly. When I start brushing, I always start at the ends of my hair to detangle it first. Now, if you have a look at this graph from chemical and physical behavior of human hair, it shows that when you brush dry hair, the combing load, that is the force applied to your hair while you're combing, is low when you start at the top of your scalp, but it spikes when you get to the ends because the ends tend to wrap around the pins because they tend to have the most tangles. This increases curvature, which increases the chance 
for breakage. So you start by gently detangling your ends, then you can flatten this graph line for the entire brush stroke when you go from scalp all the way through your ends, allowing the combing load to be much lower and it significantly reduces breakage. So I start with the ends and then work my way up to the scalp and then scalp back down. So this really helps spread that sebum. After I do both sides of my hair, I'll then flip my head upside down and give the back, the nape of my neck, my scalp, like a really nice massage with the brush just to help increase that blood flow to the scalp and also detangle the back of my hair, which can often be neglected for people who are just brushing like the right and the left side. They tend to forget about the back of their hair. Now, if you have curly hair, I would recommend the Tech Oval Brush and the detangling when your hair is wet because looking back at that textbook, fiber curvature greatly increases combing force. And when your hair is wet and it's curly, the curvature decreases to a degree that is sufficient to provide significant decreases in combing force. So that's why people with curly hair should definitely brush their hair when it's wet. So the oval brush when wet is my recommendation for curly detangling. Now let's move on to how to pick the right brush for you. So this video is discussing brushes from a detangling and sebum spreading point of view, not from a styling perspective. So my recommendations for brushes are gonna be based on detangling. So Tech has a wide variety of brushes to choose from. A really good guide that you can follow is basically this. The longer your hair, the larger the brush. The shorter your hair, the smaller the brush. The thicker your hair, the longer the pins, the thinner your hair, the smaller the pins, or the shorter the pins. For example, I have long hair, I mean for a guy, I have long hair and I have thick density. So I use the large paddle brush with the long pins. So if you have medium or thin density, long hair, then I would go with the large brush in size, but the short pins. If you have short hair, actually, that would kind of be the deciding factor. I would go with the, the medium sized paddle brush and I believe that one only comes in short pins. So short hair, medium sized paddle brush. And again, if you have curly hair, definitely opt for the wide tooth comb and the oval brush with the regular pins. So finally guys, it's the holiday season and I wanted to actually highlight their gift box because this is a really cool gift that you can get right now. Now they sell uh, short, medium, or long hair gift sets and they're pretty cool. I got their long hair box and it came with the long pin paddle brush, a wide tooth detangling comb, an organic cotton scrunchie, which is great for sleeping with if you wanna put your hair up because it won't destroy your hair. I also gave it to my wife to use. And they have these really cool self-care cards. So they give you some hair care tips for brushing, for fixing damaged hair, how to make a hair mask, things like that. So if you're looking for a gift set for him or for her this holiday season, one of these gift boxes is a great option. I think 99 bucks is their like most expensive option for the long hair, but you can't beat that price. It's a great gift for a significant other. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.